Factoring out a common monomial from a polynomial is um, really just a matter of looking to see what number or number and variable combination everything inside the polynomial can be divided by. So let's look at an example. Let's say we had um, 4a cubed plus 6ab minus 8a squared plus 12a to the fourth. And what we're looking for is what the biggest number everything we have here could be divided by is. So what we want is something that each one of these has in common. Now, finding the greatest common monomial is really your goal. You want to take out the biggest thing you can when you're factoring it, but you can do that in steps. Sometimes there's more than one thing that'll, that you can pull out. For instance, I can see that 4, 6, let me change colors so you can see my lines a little easier. 4, 6, negative 8, and 12 would all divide by 2. So let's pull that 2 out first. If I take 4a cubed and I divide it by 2, I'm going to take the 2 outside. I'm going to be left with 2a cubed inside. And if I take positive 6ab and divide it by 2, that's going to give me positive 3ab. Negative 8a squared divided by 2 would be negative 4a squared. And then positive 12a to the fourth divided by 2 would be positive 6a to the fourth. So now I've pulled out a factor, and none of the numbers left inside, well, there isn't a number that all four of the, the uh, constants left inside would divide by. 2 and 3 and negative 4 and 6 don't all have something that, that they will all divide by. So now I can move on to the variables. Here I have an a cubed. This is a times a times a, remember what that cubed means. And this is a times b. This one is a times a. And this one is a times a times a times a. So all of them have at least one a in them. So I could sort of divide everything by a and pull that a out and put it outside. If I divide 2a cubed by a, then one of those a's goes away. And if I divide 3ab by a, the only a goes away. 4a squared and 6a to the fourth becomes 6a cubed. So then I'll put that a outside, and I'll have 2a times 2a squared plus 3b minus 4a plus 6a to the third. So this statement right here, this expression right here, is exactly the same as this expression up here, because all I did was say, well, everything inside could be multiplied by this 2a to get what I started with. And that means I, I would do this because this would allow me to do something different with the 2a and then with that other term. Maybe I'm canceling a top and bottom or a fraction or something similar. So factoring this out can make the rest of a problem quite a bit easier. Let's do one more example. Um, let's do 4a cubed plus 3b squared a squared minus 7 a squared c to the fifth. Yeah. So now all I have in common here, I don't have anything common with the three constant terms, the three coefficients. There isn't anything that I'll divide by. But this one, this first term has three a's, a times a times a, so a to the third power. The second term has two a's, a times a, and the third term has two a's. So I can actually pull out an a squared this time. So I put a squared outside. And then when I pull out two of the a's here, I'm left with 4a to the first. And then my second term becomes 3b squared. And there aren't any more a's because I cancel them both or pull them both out. And then finally, my last term, same situation. I have negative 7c to the fifth because all of the a's are sort of outside the parentheses there. So you can see how it's easy to pull something out. All you need to do is just make sure when you're done, you've pulled out everything that you can so that you have the greatest monomial outside.